Welcome back. Let's check out the avocados. So first up, I'm going to show you my Nabal avocado. So the Nabal, one problem I had is I think I had some mites. Uh, so what I did is I went and I kind of scrubbed the bottom of each one. So I think it's okay now. Um, still sitting over here. Got some new growth here. Uh, this is my Gwen. Um, got a little bit of sun. Uh, I've got some burnt tips and some yellowing on the leaves. Uh, I think it might be um, a little bit of salt in the pot, possibly. Um, I am also adjusting the pH, so I'm going to be putting just a little bit of acidifier in there, maybe some azalea mix on top, just to change the pH, just because my water is so darn basic. Uh, just a side note, I've got a bunch of um, grapevines I'm going to be putting in, but that's going to be for another channel. I'll put a link below on that one. Let's check out the avocados up here. So those still, those two still have to be put in. Uh, looks like let's look at Reed first. So Reed, I saw I I thought I didn't have any fruit at all, um, but I actually saw got a couple. Not big, uh, still pretty small starts. It's pretty late. It's like uh, July, so I'm kind of surprised that they're so small, but. Whatever it is, what it is. Um, so I've got about five of those on here, um, four or five or so. Uh, but check this out. Check out my surprise. Uh, one thing I recently learned about surprise is that they are they are subject to less oxidation, so they're not going to brown as much after you cut them, which is cool. But check this out. Well, let me see if I can get it this way. Three fingers, man, three fingers. <laughs> so we've got avocado there, a couple here, right? So those are looking pretty good. Another one back here has not dropped. I put this in the ground um, probably three or four weeks ago or so. Um, only dropped one of all these avocados. And I think it's just because it was you know, down on the ground. Uh, but yeah, check that out. Three fingers, man. <laughs> Three fingers. That's a good looking avocado. Yeah, so that one looks pretty good. So let's go check out the other one. So I currently have five avocado trees. Uh, watch my footing as I plant on a slope. If you haven't seen how I plant, I have a slope. Uh, instead of terracing the entire length, I'm just kind of building in some planter areas that terrace a little bit. So I try to, towards the bottom of my planter, I try to use um, decomposed granite, DG. And then kind of as we get up higher, the soil gets a little bit better. So this is my lamb haas. Um, so yeah, it's looking pretty good. They're pretty small. They're, you know, we had one, three fingers on the... On the surprise, we've got one fingers on the lamb haas, but whatever. Um, it looks pretty good. I've probably got, what, six, 10, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, probably almost 20, maybe 20 on the lamb haas. Um, you can see I've painted all of my trees. That's because I have a southwest, southwest facing slope in California, and we get a lot of sun, man. Um, also got some grapes coming in. Zinfandel, uh, but we're going to save that for the other channel. Uh, link in the description if you want to follow that one. It's going to be Twin Trails Vineyards. So that's, that's for that one. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.